Uh, so, with it being a few days after Halloween, I took a special trip out to every Spirit Halloween and Party City I could find, looking for horror stuff just for decorating the crypt, or, you know, whatever I felt like. And so we ended up with a surprising amount of decent stuff. So, uh, let's get started. So, we found a prop bag. So it's, it's basically just like a treat bag, but it's Sam's bag from Trick or Treat. Of a movie on our book here. And, you know, it's actually a pretty decent, like, prop. Like, I can kind of sling it around like this. And it was, I think it was nine on sale, which is still kind of a lot. Um, but if you're going out to your spirit Halloweens, as they're just now starting to wrap up, this is probably something you'd want to look into picking up. So we got this belt holster thing, which we tend to want on a lot of different costumes, but uh, we haven't cracked it open to try it out yet. So now I don't know if this is based off of the trick off of the Trick or Treat Studios version of Sam's Lollipop, but this is a Sam's Lollipop prop that's it's branded by Spirit Halloween. Uh, it was seven, but it's it's fairly thick and solid, so yeah, it seems like a quality piece of gear. So then we have these kind of cool things. So they're the little Michael Myers lights that apparently do not light up because the batteries are dead yet again. <laughs> I just changed those. Wow. But they, they look cool and they're lit up. So, and they were only 13. Uh, the worst part is, though, like, I didn't know they took batteries. Like, I thought you just plug them in and I could add them to, you know, the strips that I've got in the background here. So, if you're looking at decor like that for dressing up your own whatever you got, uh, keep that in mind. So, I also got this. Hanging skull for five dollars, which will probably go uh, off with some other hanging heads that are just off camera. So plus they have this, they have this like big in-store display. It's like a haunted boat, and so I got the net from the haunted boat, which comes with a lot of like seaweed, as well as. Several <laughs> of these skeletal piranhas. God damn, that is just so much fun. Just like dropping them in here But so anyway, like it gave me a design idea, so I'm gonna hang the net up in the bathroom and just stick the zombie fish in there. Cause it looked pretty cool in store and it kind of fits the sort of Lovecraft ocean thing I've got going in the bathroom, which is kind of epitomized by this bad boy. <laughs> so there's been this trend of not even close, like anatomically incorrect, like bone creatures, and I think this is probably my favorite one. It's the bone octopus, which just makes no sense, but oh, it's so good. And this was only two dollars. I wish there had been more of them. these arranged a little different earlier. Yeah. Ah, but now, moving on to the good stuff. So, we got this Michael Myers wall thing, which we can replace our completely sun-faded Beware of Dog sign in our window. Which, uh, you know, still applies, just, uh, you know, they don't need to know that. And so I tend to wear out lanyards pretty quick, and they had a couple of, you know, just fun ones. I think these are the same kind you can find at, like, Spencer's or something. But, you know, at least they were, like, marked down. So we got a Nightmare on Elm Street one. Comes with, like, a little Freddy glove keychain-y kind of thing. So, and, like, a thing for your ID. Uh, Friday the 13th one, same thing. Except, you know, Jason Mask. Now, what's nice about these is they have like this detachable part for the keys. 
which fits with how I use, well, my keys. <laughs> uh, and they don't have this stupid detaching thing at the top, which uh, uh, I need I need my liners to be solid and not have that because of like, how I wear them. And that was mostly a distraction to get to like the really good stuff. So they had this, uh, this was seven on clearance. So it's like a metal, it's a metal sign poster of for the first Friday the 13th poster. And it's pretty good quality. It's like a little bit embossed at the bottom. Uh, and this was definitely one of the nicer things that they still had. And then moving on to the real prizes, masks, which there were still a handful of masks there, so this is the Trick or Treat Studios Skinner mask, which was, I think, 30-something after Markdown. Um, now, at first I was disappointed that it's just like a front mask, like it doesn't have a back of the head, but I think it actually works better that way. So this mask is supposedly a tribute mask, like each piece is from a different version of a Loverface mask. So let's get it on here. So, it actually fits pretty nicely. Uh, wow, Echo's pretty good in there, too. Uh, <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this mask, despite always kind of... I've seen it before, but I always kind of dismissed it. It's like, oh, it looks crummy, but it's it's actually very comfortable. Uh, I should probably do this. But it's very comfortable. Uh, you get a lot of like clearance, so you're probably not going to sweat all that much in this. It does echo pretty hard, just because of the way that the mouse is designed. Uh, but all in all, this is a way better mask than I thought it would be. And I'm sure it looks better once I take a little thing off. So. And then, what I had actually gone to the store for, and there was zero chance, according to everybody I talked to, that there would still be one. Trick or Treat Studios 1978 Halloween mask, which just came out this year and has been pretty difficult to find. So the employees could not believe they still had one. Because <laughs> I went, hey, do you guys have any Myers masks left? And they were like, nope, it's over. And I was walking by the masks and I see something poking out of like a shopping basket, kind of hidden off in the corner. And boom, there he was. So this is one of Trigger Tree Studios' more expensive masks, though. So this was 70 bucks, and even with Spirit Halloween Markdown, it was still like 52, so definitely not cheap. However, you get pretty insane quality for which you pay. Uh, so I'm just gonna close up it a little bit here. Now it's about it feels about the same size as the Halloween 2 mask, unfortunately meaning that it is very, very large, like, on your head. So, um, if I'm hard to hear while I'm wearing it, you know, that's why. So, I don't know if you guys saw just how easily it clips on. So, there's a lot of clearance under here. Like, it is very wide. It's not, it's not quite as bad as the Halloween 2 mask which is just like a bicycle helmet, uh, but there's still still quite a bit of space in here. Like, it's not as good a fit as, say, the 2018 mask, uh, but it's definitely better than the H2, and it looks pretty great, too, so uh, hair might need a little bit of a touch-up, but eh. So, I will add one thing, though. It's quite thin. Like, it feels like a much thinner material than the H2 mask that they put out was made of. And that echo, man, that is real. <laughs> but so, uh, yeah, uh, get the Spirit Halloween when you can, because you never know what you're going to run into. Plus, I think starting today, which is the third, everything there is half off. So, yeah. Uh, another thing, though, make sure that they actually take the half off of everything, because I think, because looking at my receipt, it was like, feels like I spent way too much. And then looking at my receipt, like, they didn't actually mark down most of the fish. So it was like, ah. So, but yeah, 
get out there to Spirit Halloween Party City, and good luck hunting. So, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be back uh, with some reviews or something at some point soon.